Welcome to the video version of the very first lecture of CS61A. Videos like these will be posted to the course website before each live lecture, and they contain everything that I'm going to say in live lecture, all of the contents. There are a lot of students enrolled in this class. In fact, there are far more than will fit in the lecture hall at any given time. And these videos are an alternative to coming to live lecture. So if you choose, and it really is a choice, you can watch these videos instead of coming to live lecture, and you won't miss anything. But the point of these videos is not just crowd control. Lecture is not a bad way to convey information from one person to a large group of people, but it's not perfect. Sometimes live lectures are too fast. Sometimes they're too slow. Sometimes someone's listening to a lecture and they get distracted for just a moment, lose what's going on, and then spend the entire rest of the hour confused. And watching videos instead fixes a lot of these problems. You can speed up the video, slow it down, pause, rewind, and otherwise control the flow of the lecture however you want. When learning to program, it's particularly helpful because there will be lots of times when you want to play around with an example or explore what might happen if something changed, so you can pause the video and try that out without losing track of what's going on in lecture. Wow, with all these advantages, you might think that everybody watches the videos and nobody comes to live lecture. Well, that's not true. In recent semesters, I think about 70% of students have decided to switch over to video for most of the lectures. Sometimes they show up to live lecture once in a while just to remember what it's like. And then the other 30% come to live lecture quite regularly because they prefer the live experience. In live lecture, students can ask me questions. Sometimes I ask the students questions. And all the other students who come to live lecture are interested in being there because they had the choice to watch videos, but instead they showed up. So you're welcome to come to live lecture. I'll be there. Many other students will be there too. But you're also welcome to watch the videos. And you never have to worry about missing content or missing a pop quiz or anything like that. So how will you choose? I can't tell you which one's right for you. What I would suggest is that you come to the first couple of live lectures, see what it's like, and then maybe try a video. And you can always switch back and forth. You don't have to commit to one format or the other. So if you continue watching this video, you'll hear me saying exactly what I will say in live lecture, which means that if you plan on coming to live lecture one, you should stop watching this video now Otherwise, it will be completely redundant. You're still here? Oh, must be that you want to continue on with Lecture 1 material. So here we go.